Hello and welcome to the Asino Traders Group. This is our second part of our How to Get Started Trading in the Stock Market series. Uh, this is part two. We already had one out. And as a part of that series, we broke it down into eight steps, eight steps of our basic training. And the second one is choosing the right investment vehicle. So of stocks, options, and futures, we believe that futures provides the best vehicle for getting into the stock market, especially when you compare it to stocks and options. So this video is about choosing that and is about showing you what are some of the reasons why you should be in futures compared to stocks and options. So what do you believe is the number one reason why you should be trading futures as compared to stocks? Well, it's money. And that's what it all comes down to, right? There are definitely some financial advantages for trading futures when you compare it to stocks and options. First and foremost, there is no $25,000 requirement, uh, and that really has a lot to do with the day trading limitations. With stocks and options, if you do not have $25,000 in your account, you can only make three trades within one day, uh, within five business trading days. So you have to wait uh, if you start uh, trading too much. You have to kind of wait for the week to go by. In addition, and um, the the settlement of these uh, contracts is also better with futures. Uh, with futures, the trade is instant. You get access to that money as soon as you close out that trade. With stocks, you have to wait three days. With options, you have to wait one business day. So instantaneous closing of contracts with futures. I already told you, uh, especially if you watched our first video, that we have margins as low as $300. Taxes are much less uh, complicated. You don't have to worry about uploading all these trades uh, for all, of all the different com companies that you invested in. And commissions, round trip on futures can be anywhere from two to six, seven, eight dollars, depending on what broker you use. So round trip is much cheaper to trade futures than it is to trade stocks and options. Number two, what do you think is the second reason you used to be trading futures as compared to stocks and options? time and this is also important yes it all comes down to money but it also comes down to your time how much is your time worth the advantage of trading futures compared to stocks is that you have much much less time all over the world because you're focusing on one instrument day to day you're not looking at thousands and thousands of stocks I know I used to recommend that you have a, a heartbeat with several stocks you know these stocks in and out and when the market opens you know you have to scan for your stocks and see what stocks might be moving if the market is up and if the market is down you don't have to do that because you're focusing on one instrument day to day so therefore your research time is cut down tremendously you're waking up you still have to get yourself adjusted to the market conditions but you're not doing all this scanning and filtering you're focusing on one particular instrument and so therefore your time that you should be spending with your family can be spended uh, instead of spending on stocks number three number three what is the third reason that you should be trading futures as compared to stocks and options leverage and we talked a little about this in our first video there is some leverage advantage to futures compared to stocks and options. First, liquidity. You don't have to worry about if uh, some big trader, institutional, professional trader coming in and placing a big large order and that pushing your stock up or down, more importantly, against you. Uh, futures can handle those big contracts, a series of those, and not push the stock one way or the other. Yes, it's going to go up and down, but it's not going to crush you uh, based upon institutional traders. The spreads are much smaller. Uh, I know I've seen uh, spreads just on options up to a dollar or more. And uh, the spreads on stocks can be very well too. But the spreads, meaning the difference between what you buy and sell that, the bid and the ask, are never huge on futures. Bang for the buck. Remember, uh, one contract, if the stock, the future goes up, you get that if it goes down. Um, so being able to leverage at that $300 margin really allows you to get the best bang for your buck. No market maker gains. I mean, that's one of the unwritten uh, rules about stocks and options that, you know, the market makers can control it and really, um, you know, push your stock or option in one way. You're not going to have that in futures. No uptick rule for going short. Um, if you want to go short, you go short. Now, that's the same for options. But again, with that tick for tick value, futures gives us a better value. 
So to review, there are a couple um, reasons why we believe that futures are better than stocks and options. First, there are financial advantages. Second, your time. How much is your time worth? And finally, leverage. We really believe that futures are the best way to go. So as the second part of our series here, uh, we want to go ahead and say our investment vehicle is futures. So we want to point out two things to you. First of all, we have a futures trading room. It's not my room. It's just a room that I'm in. Ascendantraders.com backslash trading room.html. This is a great futures trading room. They make money almost every day. Of, every day I've been in there. But no, I'm not going to guarantee you they make money every day. But they're great, especially for our small uh, portfolio, you know, one, two, three thousand dollar accounts. They've got a great system for that. And then they have a better system even for those with the big accounts. So great room there. But now I want to talk about our futures trading platform. If you go to sinotraders.com backslash futures.html, we have, I have a great recommendation for our futures um, platform. And as you can see, if you go with them, you will get 20 free contracts. If you sign up, use the code of Sino Traders. Also, uh, sign up with the broker um, Daniel. But if you go ahead and click on this link, it will take you to the right page. And that is, uh, again, use Sino Traders and Daniel as your broker and we'll get you 20 free contracts for trading futures. So again, when you think about our eight steps, we said first you have to educate yourself, then you have to choose a, 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 an investment vehicle. That is our video today, choosing futures as your investment vehicle. And next, in our next video, we'll be talking about developing a futures trading plan.